This is just a brief introduction to Arc Catalog, just to get you started. The main thing here is for you to just get familiar with what it is you're looking at and what you might typically use Arc Catalog for. So once you've started Arc Catalog, and you can do that from the Start menu in Windows, and just go to the ArcGIS folder, and you should see Arc Catalog in there. Uh, this is what you should see. So the first thing that uh, you should look at is the catalog tree here, and uh, that gives you a representation of the different ways that you can find and access data um, through our catalog. Probably one of the first things that you'll want to do is add a folder connection. So if you click this button up here, connect to folder, you can then browse to any folder on any drive and what this is doing is our catalog will then remember that location and you can easily select that and add data from that location without having to navigate to it each time. So in this particular case I'm just going to go to my G drive and select the folder called demo. So this could be any folder, it can, it can be an entire drive like your C drive, often that's really handy or uh, especially if you have a folder that's say buried you know, a folder inside a folder inside a folder or something like that, you can just have it connect to a particular folder as basically as a shortcut that you can use in our catalog. So that's kind of what I'm doing here is I'm just going to connect to a particular folder on this drive. So now this is highlighted here and from now on whenever I open our catalog I'll see this folder and again it can either be an entire drive or a folder and you can expand this and look at what's inside the folder. So in this case, if I select Demo, you'll see that uh, it's showing me the contents of that folder over here on the left. Here's the content pane. And uh, it's showing me that I have a geodatabase. Remember, that's GDB, and it's telling me over here that it's a file geodatabase, um, that that is stored inside my Demo folder. And if I expand that geodatabase, I can see the feature classes that are inside it. So in this case, there's uh, things like a healthcare feature class, roads, and vegetation. Um, I also have one called elevation. So if I look at this, over here on the left, what it's showing me in terms of the contents is just a, th uh, a very basic thumbnail, which in this case isn't that informative. But having selected this over here, if I go over to the preview tab, this will show me what is contained inside that feature class. It doesn't look really beautiful, it's not really detailed, but it gives you a quick way of figuring out what's in that feature class inside that geodatabase and whether it's something that you might want to use for a particular project. If you click on the description tab, you'll see here that there should be some descriptive information about that particular data set. So in this case, there's not a lot, but there's some there. For example, a description showing us the healthcare points of interest contain hospitals, outpatient clinics, nursing homes, and a variety of other healthcare facilities. So once you've examined the contents of the folder here, you can uh, do some various things in here, but really most of the time we don't use our I don't use our um, sorry our catalog for a lot of different things. One thing that you would possibly want to do though is if you go just select that folder again that I connected to, and then if you wanted to create a new geo database, and remember a geo database for now you can just think of it as a container that's going to hold your map layers. You can go to the content window, just the right hand side of the our catalog program and right click and select new file geodatabase just click on that and that's all there is to it now I've got a new empty geodatabase I can call this whatever I want I'm just gonna uh, name it in this case exercise one and it's good practice in ArcGIS to leave um, to not have spaces in your names um, it's kind of inconsistent in the software. Sometimes it will allow you to have spaces depending on what you're doing and sometimes it won't. So typically I just make sure that I don't have any. It just uh, makes things easier. And there we have it. So there's nothing in that geodatabase, but it is handy to know how to be able to create them. There's nothing really magical about it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but it's something that you um, often will want to be able to do. 
So that's basically it for uh, a quick introduction to our catalog. Um, I think you'll find that most of the time, most of your work will be done in ArcMap, but it is useful to be able to come into our catalog once in a while in order to be able to uh, look for data sets.